Hello, guys. Blood Hunt has quests. I repeat, Blood Hunt has quests. In this video, I wanted to go over the secret side quest called Bloody Roots that you can do in Blood Hunt. I'm treating this more so as a walkthrough slash guide on how to do it, so of course there will be spoilers on exactly where to go and how to collect these things. But if you would like to keep it spoiler free, this is at least how you begin the quest. After your first few games, talk to Kustos. This is where I would leave if you would like to do it on your own. But if you got confused, welcome back. <laughs> I didn't know about this quest, so the first footage is actually from a Twitch stream. That's why there are bats on the screen. Anyway, to begin, he says, I have a favor to ask. There is something I wish for you to retrieve from Old Town. A gift from me to Kirol. It's a statuette of a man he once knew and admired. It will have special meaning to him. I should mention here, I'm not sure how to say any of their names. So if I get them wrong, please let me know. You tell him, hey, I'll go get it. And by now you're like, all right, where's Old Town? It's not exactly a place on the map, but rather a section of it. So on the map, you're gonna see this diamond shape mark after the game starts. You will not see this when you're selecting where to start in the world or during the countdown for the game to begin. You're gonna head to the old antique shop marked here. Now all you have to do is go to the location and grab the item. All the items will look like this glowing jar. Something you should also know is once you grab the item, you don't have to win the game. You just play it out as normal and you will not lose the item. Now for the second chapter. Once you return to Elysium, you will actually begin the second part of the quest by speaking to Kirill. He's angry until you give him the cute little statue. And then he says, Maya has been talking to Kustos. I want you to give her a gift on my behalf. An engraving that will stir old memories. It's in the gallery in town. So you're like, okay, to the art gallery we go. This one is easy to find because it's by the gold chest on the roof of the art gallery, located here. Also, if you didn't know, here's where one of the gold chests are. These chests are pretty much where you can find really good gear. Much like the first quest, upon returning to Elysium, you'll begin the next and last part by talking to Maya. She says, A Sabinsky original? Where did he find this? They look so happy. Carol knows my weakness. I need you to retrieve something for me. But please be discreet, darling. This leads to the last artifact you need to collect. This one was really tricky for me to find, even though it's the most obvious one, because it's in the middle of a street. When you bring it back to her, she says, Thank you, darling. I'll remember your efforts. I hope the small reward you received was enough token of my gratitude. The package has reached its new owner. When I first set foot in this golden city, both mortals and kindred welcomed me warmly. That was more than 50 years ago now. We've seen our share of strife, but I've done my part for the cause of peace and will continue to do so. I believe the easiest way to complete this quest is launching in the solos mode and landing near the places that you need to go. But I should also mention that if you do attempt the quest in trios, everyone can also complete the quest and pick up all the items. It's not locked to just like one person. Something else you should know is when you complete this quest, you'll also gain experience as well as this photo icon. Also, if you didn't know, under challenges where you see daily and seasonal objectives, you will now have this quest objective. I'm really looking forward to more quests and will definitely keep you updated as more of them come out. It was really fun to have this little scavenger hunt in a game like this. And there you have it, a guide to the first set of quests. As always, I want to thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it and want to talk more about all things vampire related, you can find me over at Twitch where I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Thank you for watching.